Mae McAvoy was in the first talkie. Mae McAvoy was born in New York City in 1899, and her family was well-to-do. They owned a livery stable where the Waldorf Astoria Hotel now resides. Does a hotel reside? People reside in it. Anywho, she wanted to be a teacher, but she saw a friend of hers rehearsing a vaudeville sketch, and the showbiz bug bit her, and she headed out to Hollywood. Her first film was in 1920. It was called The Devil's Garden, and it starred Mr. Lionel Barrymore. In 1921, May became a star with the film Sentimental Tommy, and she signed a contract with Paramount. In 23, David O. Selznick wanted her to be in the film Adam's Rib and play a prehistoric flapper, bob her hair. She refused. This is an advert for that flicker. Here's a modern flapper sitting on a million-year-old dinosaur powdering her nose. And the first flapper, the kitten girl of prehistoric times. Good job on passing on that one, May. Oh, in the year 1923, Mae McAvoy also was the queen in the Tournament of Roses. Oh, she enjoyed success in such movies as 1924's Enchanted Cottage with Richard Barthelemus. In 1925, she had the title role in the film Lady Windermere's Fan, directed by Ernest Lubitsch, and her co-star was Mr. Ronald Kelman. And in 1925, she was in Ben-Hur with Roman Navarro and Francis X. Bushman. In 1927, Mae McAvoy was in her most famous picture to this day, which is the first talkie ever, The Jazz Singer. Yeah, those pictures are a little hard to look at, aren't they? Um, technically, though, she did not have any speaking lines. There were tiny snippets of dialogue and lots of song. In 1929, she married a United Artists accountant who insisted she quit show business, so she retired. When they divorced in the year 1940, she started acting again, but she only had a lot of uncredited and bit parts. She did have a very small part in 1959's Ben-Hur with Charlton Heston. We've come full circle, haven't we? This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesday. I will see you in Hollywood.